Hello everyone, today I will be teaching you how to configure and install uh, Apache Flume and use it to uh, fetch Twitter data from Hadoop. So first of all you need to download Flume. You need to go to this link. I will mention these links uh, in the description. You can check them out. So when you go to this link to download Flume, you need to go to the previous releases and archive repository because the latest version is not always stable so you need to find our previous version to the latest version for our stable uh, Apache Flume version so you need to go to archive repository then you need to select the stable version you can see it's right here stable click on it then you need to click on this uh, first link Apache Flume 1.9.0 uh, as I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it. So you can download this. Once you have downloaded downloaded it, you can go to your file, you need to right click it and extract here. Once it's extracted, you need to copy these contents. Control C, copy all these files. Go to your C drive, make a folder Flume make a folder flume name it flume as I've already done it I have a folder over here so I don't need to create it you just need to create a folder like this flume and you need to copy paste these files over here I've already pasted it so I don't need to so you can paste these files over here so after you have pasted these files you need to go to your configuration file and this over here will be like this this will be like properties dot template you need to remove these template from this just like this you need to remove the dot template over here you need to remove this okay do it for every three files you need to remove this uh, just like this dot template so you need to remove this you need to remove template from every file extension over here I will show you an example of how uh, what uh, I mean you need to go to the flume download you see these are dot templates you need to remove these just like this you need to backspace press backspace and remove the dot template extensions it will ask you if you are sure you want to rename it press yes and just like this you need to remove from it from every file Yes. After you have removed it, you're good to go. Okay. So after you have copied these files on the C folder, in the Flume folder, you need to set the environment variables for the Apache Flume. So you need to click on Edit Environment Variables. You need to select this over here you need to set up the flume home click edit you need to copy this uh, this address control C over here where you where you have copied your files copy this address and go to the environment variable settings and click edit and paste over here just like this press ok you need to type in flume home over here and then press ok just set the flume home uh, environment variable then you need to set another uh, user variable for the class path you need to go over here uh, in the C drive in your flume folder then go to the lib folder and copy this once you have copied this address go to the environment variable again create a new uh, class path click class path and paste the address over here I've already done it so I don't need to class path and flume home you need these two over here then you need to go to the uh, path over here in system variables and double click it uh, okay one minute okay next you need to edit the path click on edit 
then you need to go down and the paste the flume bin you can get this address go to your C, file, C folder go to flume go to the bin folder and you need to copy this address and paste it over here click new and paste it over here just like this okay then press ok press ok and then uh, ok again you have installed the flume uh, Apache flume successfully but you need to do one more thing over here you need to go to the configuration files go to the flume environment.sh click on edit open with no notepad plus 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 edit with notepad plus 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 go to over here you need to set the java home address over here this will be uh, this will be commented out you need to uncomment it just like this and you need to set the java home you can see the java home by going to your environment variable section and you will have it over here if you have installed jdk 1.8.0 previously you can check my hadoop installation video for the installation of java if you don't have it you can go to this link click on edit and you need to copy this control c press ok press ok press ok and paste this over here just like this control v okay then uh, you need to set one more thing you need to set the class path for the flume you need to go to your environment variables again go to it uh, go to your class path click edit control c copy this address press ok press ok and then you go over here uh, this uh, this line may not be written you have to write it manually over here in the next line you have to write export class path equal to and then copy paste the address that you have copied of the class path control V save this file and close it now you have successfully installed uh, Apache flume to test it you can go and open your uh, command prompt as a run as an administrator okay to test uh, if our flume is working you need to open the command prompt using administrator permissions and you need to go to the flume d uh, flume directory to go to the flume directory you need to write cd and uh, write dot dot double dot then you need to write it again cd dot dot then you need to write cd uh, the name of the folder you, had, you have uh, pasted all the files of the flume in the c drive minus flume go to the bin of the flume directory then you need to write flume hyphen ng version as you can see this tells us that our flume has been successfully installed and is currently at the version of 1.9.0 okay so next you need to go to the twitter developer page and over here you need to select the uh, you need to make a project in the projects and apps you need to make a project just like I have did programming for big data is my project then you need to go to the overview then you need to uh, install an app add an app you can configure this uh, you need to create this app for to get the keys and tokens you need to go over here keys and tokens and you need to re uh, generate your API key and secret API key and access token and secret tokens these two keys consumer keys and authentication tokens access token and secret token you need to generate these you need four keys and you need you can copy them in the notepad folder just like I have did these all and you need this to I've mentioned this link in the description you can go and follow this uh, guide if you need to you need to create a you need to create a library in the Hadoop and you need to create a configuration file twitter dot uh, configuration files in your flume directory you can copy all this copy this control C and you need to go to the your flume configuration uh, directory press new text file name it as Twitter and remove the instruction from uh, extension from txt to conf conf it will ask you if you want to rename the extension press yes open this with notepad plus 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 and paste what you have copied from the link in the description or the website copy this 
then you need to replace these uh, four keys over here just like this okay you need to uh, paste this over here you need to copy and paste this over here you can do this by cop uh, by generating these keys and copying them onto a notebook copy them one by one API key then my API secret key oh API secret key then your access token key and then your access token secret key once you have pasted this control s save this file and then you need to make sure that uh, you have created a uh, hadoop file system directory and set it to path as this the local host 9000 user hadoop twitter data to create this first you need to start your hadoop you can do this by opening another command prompt run as an administrator and you need to go to your hadoop directory click cd dot dot cd dot dot i installed this on c drive so it will be like cd hadoop my version 3.2.3 if you don't have hadoop you can uh, see the link in the description to my previous video of the installation of hadoop press enter you need to go to the directory of uh, cds bin then you need to just click start uh, type start hyphen all it will start all the node manager resource manager of the yarn and the name node and data node of Hadoop so once it started You need to wait a uh, wait a second to complete its process. Then you can type go to your browser and open a new tab and just click on uh, type localhost uh, semicolon and 9870. Just like this, you can see that it started at this date and it's working correctly. Now what you need to do is you need to create a file directory for the Hadoop. In order to do this, you need you can do it. Okay, to create a uh, Hadoop file system directory of Twitter data on your uh, on your local host, you can type in you can type in Hadoop uh, uh, DFS hyphen mkdir mkdir hyphen p, and then you can type in hdfs double slash local host uh, 9000 a uh, user I do uh, Twitter data you can type in just like this or you can if you don't remember this you can just see your uh, twitter.com file and copy this over here and paste it on in your command prompt you can see the this address over here you need to you need to copy you need to make the same directory there it's in the twitter dot conf dot uh, configuration file or in the Hadoop local system so you need to just like this create it it has been successfully created so what you need to do is you need to refresh this page and voila you can see that the directory has been created June July 3 1516 user Hadoop Twitter data the directory has been successfully created for and it's ready to fetch that Twitter data into your this directory so okay. so now you can do this you can go to and now you can you need to execute the flume commands in order to in order to fetch data from the flume uh, servers into the your uh, Hadoop file system use uh, into your Hadoop file system so what you need to do is first we will clear this 
you need to go to your flume directory pd double dot once you're in the flume directory you need to write uh, this command so as my as my uh, file system is in the uh, the configuration twitter dot configuration file is in the uh, flume configuration directory so I will write it just like this if you have pasted it in another uh, directory you can just simply change this address this tells you that the, the agent is the twitter agent and the file is the configuration file and the property of the flume is the debugging logger so you need to press enter in order to, for this to work and it will start fetching data into your file system Hadoop file system and you can see your data over here just by going to the local host and utilities utilities browse the file system user Hadoop Twitter data all the Twitter data will be uh, will be fetched and will be stored over here successfully thank you for the thank you for your time and this is all the video so hopefully you will uh, please like subscribe and comment on my video if you have any problems, I will be glad to help you out. Thank you.